Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be the first of many Shin Godzilla figure videos on the channel. I got a little bit obsessed recently after re-watching the movie. I've known about it since it was released and always been very tempted to get into the Shin Godzilla collecting, but was quite daunted by the price of some of these pieces. Even this NECA figure here cost me a fair penny because the, this is the version I really wanted with this box. Um, I, know, I think there's definitely another version where it's just in kind of like a plastic kind of see-through package but this is gorgeous there's also the other version um, which I guess came out around the time of this one where the box is like this shape but it's got the white background where he's on the front with his hands facing up it's kind of looking up at him from the ground it's gorgeous I want that just for the box but it's quite pricey on eBay so I don't want to say too much in this video because there's so many more videos coming up on different versions of Shin Godzilla that I've bought now that I'm waiting for to come from Japan um, so I don't want to say everything in this video because then there'll be nothing left to say in those future videos so I'll just give you a little intro here I'll try and flash up some stuff on the screen to keep you interested while I'm talking but I just have to give you a little intro to this whole big Shin Godzilla journey that I'm on right now I hate using the J word but it's the only real way to describe this I remember seeing the trailer and certain things in the trailer really got my attention like the shot from the ground where Godzilla's tail was kind of swaying over the top of the buildings low to the ground and I just remember thinking how real that looked it looks so real and that's kind of one of the main draws for me other than Godzilla's appearance his look in the film of which there's about four or five different forms his evolution throughout the movie he's evolving very quickly but I just think the look of Shin Godzilla is my favorite, absolutely. I've been a fan of Godzilla since I was a kid in the 80s, watching the cartoon with Godzuki. Uh, and then on Channel 4, late at night, they used to do like a creature feature thing. Like every week they'd show Godzilla stuff and they were quite silly. Some of them you could talk and dance and fly and all kinds of stuff, but it is what it is. Um, and then obviously the 98 Hollywood movie was pretty bad when you look back at it. But I remember being about... Uh, 98 I would have been 17 maybe so um, yeah I remember seeing that and liking it at the time but looking back yeah it's, it's that's not really Godzilla and then obviously the Gareth Edwards movie years later pretty good but it's ridiculous when you find out that you actually see Godzilla in that movie for only like three minutes or something out of the whole runtime I forget what it is but he's hardly in it but I grew up with them and I kind of just lost touch with it all you know for a while obviously in the background you can see the things I'm into Michael Myers Toy Story Batman all the horror stuff Predator Alien Robocop Terminator all those kind of things and uh, just recently got back into Shin Godzilla big time spent more than I've ever spent on anything the last thing I bought was the 30 centimeter Sakai X plus Rick exclusive version But I, I wanted it so badly and I never intended to get four different Shin Godzillas I started off with this one the NECA one and then I was excited to get this so I started looking on YouTube and then kind of stumbled into the SH Monster Arts and was like oh crap now I need to get that one and then that stumbled me into finding out about the Ban Presto I'll say that again Ban Presto version um, and I saw that and thought, okay, damn it, that's obviously the one to get now. So I screwed up by getting the NECA one and the Monster Arts. This is the one I really should have got. That led into me discovering the Sakai 30 centimeter Rick version. Um, and obviously anyone who's reviewed that will tell you that's the one to have. If you want an accurate Shin Godzilla in his fourth form with the red and the black kind of look, that's the one you need to get. And it's ridiculously expensive, but you know, I had to do what I had to do. But I don't want to ramble on too much more, it's already been five minutes. I'll try to flash up some stuff on the screen to keep it interesting for you to look at while I'm talking here. But I just love this look for Godzilla. So in the movie, he has about four or five forms. And the first form is basically just this tail sticking out of the ocean with surrounded by blood, uh, where he's sort of taking shape for the first time. You never get to see anything other than the tail in his first form. Uh, and then soon after that we see him in his second form where he's evolving and getting bigger uh, he has no arms and he's kind of just like pushing himself along the ground in his second form with these big fish bug eyes these gills on his neck that are just pouring blood because he actually can't breathe on land at this point he's basically suffocating 
and then we see him rapidly evolving and start to try and stand up on his hind legs and he starts to grow these tiny little T-Rex arms and his eyes change a little bit and then he's in his third form uh, but then he goes away and comes back in his fourth form which is what we're looking at now in the NECA figure but all four or five forms are pretty disturbing visually um, but the fourth form here, the kind of more classic recognisable Godzilla shape is the best version for me ever you know, I don't think this will ever be topped I love the way his palms are facing up because he is Godzilla and it's basically just it, that pose with his, his hands facing up like that instead of down like they usually are or to the side uh, with them facing up and just that kind of non-expressive just always staring straight ahead just not even when they're firing tanks and stealth bombers dropping bombs on him he never seems to acknowledge it other than when they finally do hurt him uh, by dropping them on his back and a whole lot of blood that's <laughs> just disgusting that bit i could talk all day about it uh, i'm going to keep it short i've already been talking now for eight minutes but there's more to say i'll save all the other stuff i want to say for the future reviews because like i said this is the first of four different versions of shin godzilla coming to the channel uh, i might have flashed up some screen uh, screen grabs of other youtube videos with youtubers reviewing different godzillas um, there's some amazing videos out there from some really good youtubers uh, i don't know what it is about godzilla but there's some really crazy youtubers as well when it comes to um Shin Godzilla stuff but there's some amazing guys and girls out there just doing great videos and really helped me out a lot spending money that I shouldn't be spending um, but yeah we'll come back and there's going to be a lot of Shin Godzilla stuff on the channel so I hope you enjoy those videos still got a lot of Predator stuff to do as well my classic body is arriving tomorrow so I can finally do the uh, classic body jungle hunter swapping of the parts to try and build the ultimate ones at scale original Predator that's going to be happening very soon as well. So drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333. This is the NECA Shin Godzilla, and I hope you enjoy this review. A shout out to my buddy Ricky in America, who I've been chatting to on Instagram. He helped me out a lot uh, with Shin Godzilla stuff. So hey, Ricky, if you're watching. Uh, just quickly mention about the packaging here obviously there are different versions of this figure from NECA that come in different packaging this is the one I wanted because of the packaging I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love the poster of the movie it's so simple but it's classic I uh, love it I might have to get an actual poster of that and frame it but yeah I had to get this version packaging is absolutely gorgeous It's very collector friendly, you could display it, you know, you don't have to have to take it out of there, obviously you have to attach its tail I think, but it displays really well if you like to keep things in the packaging. Um, now I will say, I think this version, from what I've seen on YouTube, the head sculpt is not very accurate, um, and it's difficult to try and find a version of Shin Godzilla that's in figure form where they nail the head from every angle, the side profile from the front view, slightly askew even from the back um, but I think you know at least two of the versions I have come have nailed the the likeness all right so out of the box and uh, it definitely takes some heating up to get that tail on there so be prepared for that and you can see straight away from the side profile of the movie poster look at how that kind of works and how long his chin is you know the distance from the neck to the tip of the chin and then you see on the figure it's like a very 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 big difference so the side profile is bad on the figure um, it's just not accurate and it doesn't really look that much like him from the front either um, yeah not a bad angle there but yes I mean you know comparing as you put the red behind it so you can see the distance on the figure it's just vastly different it just you know that's not accurate and kills the the look really but um still nice you know knowing what i know now having watched all the different videos on youtube over the past three or four days of every version by every youtuber um you know i can see a lot more than i could i could see when i actually bought this 
Uh, I don't regret getting it because I love the company NECA and it is nice to have their representation of Shin Godzilla and it's going to be handy for comparisons later on when the other versions arrive and you can't have too much Shin, you know, it's all good, I'm glad to have it, it's here and just for the box to be honest, I love that box and that will definitely be on display somewhere, it has to be, whoop! I don't really like the way the tail has that weird bump in it, I wish it continued up like the natural kind of curve that starts there and just continued upwards. It's very distracting now noticing the distance between the chin and the neck. It's just very, very different on this one. On camera I know he looks almost black here, but it's more of a kind of really dark brown in person. And the transition from the dark to that orange on his back is very stark, not blended in at all, but I mean for the price point, I guess when this was released it was about 35, 40 pounds. So it's, it's not a bad figure for that kind of money. But one of my legs is a lot longer than the other. His right leg is a lot longer than his left leg. So I've tried my best to get him to look a bit more natural. But decent looking piece. Let's kind of look up at him like this. There you go. I just have to throw this in folks. I was just trying to figure out what was going on with the leg being longer situation. It's seems to be okay once you get it into the right position i had to bend the knee on his right leg and straighten the knee on the left one um and one slightly more forward than the other just slightly but he's level now so that seems to be fine so forget what i said about one leg being longer than the other it certainly appears that way when you get him out of the packaging but if you mess with the knee articulation and moving the leg backwards and forwards enough you can get him to stand up straight be level. All right, I've opened his mouth, which does help distract a little bit from the inaccuracy of the look of the neck and bottom jaw transition. But it's a lot of detail on him, it's very nicely sculpted. He's missing the extra kind of nails that are jutting out randomly on his feet, which you can see in the more expensive versions. Can't get the arms too close into the body as much as I'd like, but at least you're able to turn the palms up. It's pretty shiny. Some of these versions I've got coming, as expensive as they are, I'm very tempted to dry brush like a matte charcoal black over some of the darker sections just to dull down some of that shine. I'm not saying I'm 100% going to do that, we'll see. It's something you really got to think about. Don't rush into that. And that's about as straight up as you can get him to stand, messing with the legs and the articulation in his waist and the neck and the head, making sure everything is as upward as it can be. That seems to be about as straight up as I can get him, in case you're after that kind of look. It's a shame about the tail again, doing that weird bend instead of just being able to continue up. Slightly askew. And then face in front. It's not bad. But there are much more accurate versions out there. They cost a lot more than this, but this is how this looks. All right, so taking a close up look here at the head, just to see the sculpt and the paintwork. It's not too bad. Again, for the price point when it was released, it's not too bad at all. I mean, it's not accurate as we've seen from the side profile, but at certain angles, it's not too bad. Paintwork on the teeth, you know, they're not separate, they're all kind of part of the sculpt. They've done their best with that. Get them. Get the light to come over here a little bit. The eyes, they're very small. I can understand how difficult it would be. They're really small folks. Um, you know, they're, they're nice and close up to the screen here, so they look all big, but 
in reality, I'm looking at those eyes thinking, how the hell would you even paint those? You know, it's like a pin dot for his eye. It's not too bad. That angle right there, I kind of like. Uh, the inside of the mouth, let's have a look at that. Pretty good. In this lighting anyway, it looks pretty good. The teeth coming out from the gums looks pretty good too. Yeah. You know, some photography from this angle. Maybe even slightly darker lighting. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. Try and give you all the angles. I like the detail on the face. He's a very sturdy feeling figure. I mean, I saw a lot of videos where the head kept popping off. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the one that came out later where they maybe corrected a few things as NECA do, uh, tend to do with their reissues. Um, we've definitely had some reissues where they've improved things and sometimes given you a completely new head sculpt. Um, so I'm not too sure if the head popping off all the time issue is even an issue with this version. And maybe the paint is different on this one. Maybe the articulation's a bit stiffer. I'm not sure. But yeah. In comparison, this is how he looks next to the Ultimate Jungle Hunter by the same company, NECA. <laughs> Here he is next to a 1-6 scale figure, Mr. John Rambo. Just two folks trying to get where they're going. Here is Godzilla next to the NECA Kessler Wolf from American Werewolf in London. Again, both made by the same company. And this is how they look together. I've got to say, I wish Godzilla was a bit bigger. You know, he is Godzilla after all, but I understand. I guess he would have been very heavy. He's already quite heavy, to be honest. He's very, he's just a big, thick, lumpy sculpt, <laughs> you know, which is cool. And the same thing with the Kessler Wolf. He's quite a solid, heavy figure as well. It's nice when they're like that. But that's how they look next to each other to give you an idea of how big Godzilla is. Okay, folks, to finish up, I wanted to look at Godzilla from underneath, and that's usually the best way to do it. I'm just using a 1 6 scale diorama base that came with a Spider Man figure. I just put him on top of that and got the camera pointing up at him. So, if I was to give him a score out of 10, I would give him a 7. He's good. But if you want to get into movie accuracy, that's where the problems start. And the tail being in that weird ugh, bend in the middle, the bump, I don't like that. And the inaccuracy of the, the head to the neck transition is just really, really, it's a big inaccuracy there. Sculpt though, overall, paintwork, it's good. It's like a 7 out of 10 for the price point. Mass produced piece. It is what it is. So, if... Uh, you know, you really do have a craving for some Shin Godzilla in your collection. You're not that bothered about the movie accuracy, which I'm sure you all are. It feels weird just saying that because, you know, uh, that's why we collect, you know, because we want the perfect representation of that character uh, in the collection. But I give this a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good effort. Love the packaging that it comes with. I'm glad to have it. You can look forward to seeing it in the comparison videos coming up i didn't even talk about the tip of the tail um because that's an interesting one in the movie it's kind of got its own thing going on it's like a separate little creature just on the end of his tail it's really creepy um they've painted that and sculpted it well they've sculpted it pretty good it's not painted that well the tip of the tail anyway but yeah seven out of ten from me and I can't wait to bring you the videos on the next versions that are coming. The two that I'm most excited for, well, all of them really. We've got coming up, we've got the SH Monster Arts version. We've got the Band Presto version, which I'm really looking forward to showing you that. I can't wait to see that. It's a very, very accurate looking Shin Godzilla. And then the big one, the Grail, the serious Grail, an actual Grail. The 30 centimeter Sakai X Plus Rig version. 
can't believe I'm actually getting that. I just hope it gets here soon. Can't believe what the custom charge is going to be on that. God damn it. I've already spent so much. It is what it is. It's what it is. Stop watching The Irishman, Dean. <laughs> it's so good, though. Right. Yeah, 7 out of 10 from me. Not a bad effort. Can't honestly really recommend it. You know, if you want one definitive shin in your collection, honestly, it's just not accurate enough. But, you know, for younger collectors, you know, who ain't thinking about that kind of fine detail stuff, they just want a Godzilla, they want a Shin Godzilla. Yes, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Go ahead. But beautiful packaging. Adore that. Absolutely adore it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, because there is a lot more Shin Godzilla action coming up, and it's only going to get better with each video, because as each one turns up, it's a better version. <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be nuts. Also, keep it locked for all the Predator stuff coming up on the channel, and all kinds of goodness. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.